All right, boys. You know what it is. Godzilla, Kong, the New Empire. Following their explosive showdown, Godzilla and Kong must reunite against a colossal undiscovered threat hidden within our world, challenging their very existence and our own. Uh, some of my favorite memories of going to the movies are with my boy Jason watching the Godzilla movies and the Halloween movies, horror movies. Shout out to Jason. Uh, Jason is extremely excited for this one, folks. The New Empire we watched. I... Okay, Godzilla Minus One is borderline a goddamn masterpiece. I loved that movie so much. My favorite movie of 2023, Godzilla Minus One. That was just in a whole another wheelhouse, right? I, I loved that movie. I want to watch that movie again and again and again. I want to see the black and white version. Love Godzilla Minus One. The American Godzillas, this is in the... Did this start, this, this Godzilla um, iteration? Was this originally from the 2014 Brian Cranston Godzilla is this the same Godzilla? I think it is. And and Kong Kong Skull Island same same Kong? I think so, right? Someone I don't know, someone can correct me in the comments. I don't care. Comment, subscribe, like. I don't know, it helps with engagement. Tell me I suck. Um but <clears throat> I for the most part enjoy the American ones. I'm trying to think. What was the one? Was it Godzilla King of All Monsters? The one before this? Adam Wingard. Godzilla vs. Kong. That one wasn't as memorable to me. I remember seeing this one. Brian Tyree Henry. Millie Bobby Brown was in this one. Oh my god. The humans were such a non-entity. I remember this. When was it? 2021. Okay. Who did Godzilla King of the Monsters? Twenty nineteen. Oh man. Feels like forever ago. Got a new director since then. This must be the same Godzilla, I imagine, right? I remember really liking Godzilla King of the Monsters. I thought that one was cool at the time. Um, nothing's going to beat Godzilla minus one for me. Yeah, Godzilla versus Kong. Eh. So this one, this looks like a, this poster looks like a GTA promo. <laughs> so stupid. It's is it what I would I would I categorize the American Godzilla movies in this era schlock? Maybe it's kind it's kind of like kaiju schlock, right? It's only going further and further down, you know. It's it, these movies are one step away, you know, from from Vin Diesel showing up in like an El Camino with a Corona and talking about family, you know, like that's where these movies are for me, but they're enjoyable. Unlike the fast and furious movies where I just hate everyone in them. But so this one, Godzilla and Kong team up and they like kiss or something. Adam Wingard. What has he done? You're next. I feel like I've seen, Oh, Netflix's death note. That's not a good sign. The guest? I've heard of that, never seen it. Oh, VHS. Okay, he's done horror movies. Blair Witch. Eh. Did a did a remake of Blair Witch. Oh boy. This guy hasn't done much. I mean I I it's like one of those movies where like the visual effects and the writers are the real the real heroes in these movies, right, folks? All right, let's 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 check it out. I want to see Godzilla and Kong kiss. Official trailer 2. Warner Brothers. <laughs> the fucking pyramids. 
Let's go. For centuries, there was harmony. What a fucking... Is that Bumblebee? The Titans were the guardians of nature. And the great apes... It does make me sad. These are just animated movies. You know? It, it, I feel like I would enjoy schlock like this. You know, kaiju schlock if it was they just went back to guys in costumes and miniature cities because i feel like with the technology today and and what they could do with like stop motion i feel like they could just make something so much more like special you know instead of just that it's a animated blockbuster you know not to say that i can't enjoy these types of movies but it it just makes me think you know what could be for a fucking fraction of the budget by the way became the protectors of humanity deaf character are the humans gonna matter in this another thing coming we've discovered a signal she can feel it oh i think she was in the last kong godzilla they can feel it too godzilla's a blue boy Something is coming. Something even they're afraid of. You feel like going for a ride? Thought you'd never ask. Try not to swallow your tongue. What? Oh. For a second I thought maybe this was how they would trap Godzilla and Kong, but this, I think, they're going into, like, the underworld or something. I just... I just don't like how, I hate to be like sounding pretentious, but it is just like a big CGI fest, you know, the entire movie. You can say with most blockbusters that at least when you have human characters to care about, like let's say superhero movies, it can't just be, they're not relying on kaijus for the most part. You know, there are humans acting with their personalities behind you know the fucking cgi masks whereas these movies are just strictly cgi you know the humans are just an afterthought so honestly like i really feel like i would i would take just guys in in you know poorly made chuck e cheese masks as opposed to just something like this you know we we've reached that point where CGI, no matter how good it be, and this doesn't look bad, this certainly looks good, it just doesn't impress anymore, you know? That's the only way that they make these movies. And the more you go with it, the more, like, the, the, the bigger the concept, the more just CGI it becomes. So, I don't know. What? Oh my god! I do kind of like the music. Oh, and we're going with a baby Godzilla or Kong. Um, sure. Is that a mini Kong? Oh my. Brian Tyree Henry, folks, Oscar nominated. <laughs> Good for him. I love Brian Tyree Henry. I don't know who this is. God. That's not just a signal. That's a call for war.
like, would I get more out of watching the new Planet of the Apes movie than I would this at this point? You know, I don't know if I really want to see them in the underworld, you know, because I feel like when you get Godzilla and Kong in this underground cave, they're not smashing a city apart. They're just surrounded by these like stalactites and stalagmites and whatever. I know those words. I remember them from high school. You don't have any sense of scale, you know, especially when there's other creatures, other kaijus around them. You, you don't really get a scale of how big they are. So it just becomes less and less impressive. Godzilla Minus One, on the other hand, I'm going to keep referencing that movie because it's fucking amazing. That movie used Godzilla so sparingly, and when he did show up, you really got a sense of scale and how big he was relative to the world around him. As to where you have Kong and Godzilla in this cave, it really you know, doesn't, doesn't do the, the scale of how big these guys are supposed to be any justice. I don't know. I don't know. Call me an asshole. I don't care. Like and subscribe. What? Are we gonna get Diddy Kong? Is that? Kong can't stop this on his own. He won't be alone. There's the meme. Why does this seem so, like... Something about the title seems so Suicide Squad. Like, Marvel-y. Superhero-y. The last time those two met up, it was almost the end of Kong. They don't have to like each other. We just have to work together. Now I have seen everything. Just have him talk. Just have him start talking to the humans at this point. Like, I would, I, I, unironically, I would like that. For this kind of movie, for this tone. We've made some minor augmentations. Oh. Yeah, just unfortunately nothing seems cool anymore because it's all animated. That looks like a Marvel movie logo. All right. Jason, you'll make it fun.